Hey everybody, it's Jim. I'm back with another Weekend Grabs and Reviews video for you. And I have got a stack of goodies to go through. So um, I'm going to try to go through these quick. As usual, I try to do that to make sure you hang with me till the end. Um, but I do have quite a bit. I was off to a slow start this month and I thought, well, this video is going to be pretty short. But um, yeah, well, I've made up for it here at the end. So um, actually, I'm going to show you one that I just picked up today. I've never seen this before. It's a Deadpool Holiday Edition slipcover. It's the exact same Deadpool movie, of course. It's got this little, like, this gift tag that you would put on a Christmas present to and from. The back of it actually looks like a comic book. And he's got uh, a few little quips up here. He says, it's, uh, uh Seasons Beatings, everyone. Um, ho, ho, hold on to your chimichanga. Just things like that. But really cool design on the package. And it also has a... Christmas card inside, a holiday card, so it's the the whole cast there, and then it has a little, uh, I'll let you read that, if you're so inclined, card included. So I don't know if this was accidentally put out early, um, it was the only one that I could find, I imagine this uh, this one would be pretty heavily put out in uh, in December. I don't think it's it's anything rare. I think it's it's coming. I just don't know how this one got out so soon. Um, also, I rounded out my Hateful Eight Funko Pop collection. I finally found uh, Sheriff Mannix here. Um, I was glad to find that. I actually got that at Barnes & Noble of all places. So, I got that. Um, then I picked up Dream a Little Dream with Corey Feldman, with him being in the news recently with his freaky antics on the Today Show. I saw this and I was like, I love that movie, I think. So I picked it up and I was walking around, I'm looking, I'm looking at the CDs and pow! It was fate. I had to get them both. Um, the, the soundtrack's really good. The movie's really good. You know, whether you hate him or love him, them, I guess, the, the Corys. Um, it, it's a good little movie to revisit. It actually held up pretty good, too. And, uh, so I couldn't help myself. I had to pick that up as well. Um, also picked up another old one called Disorderlies. This uh, features the Fat Boys. This one is about uh, some bumbling disorderlies, as you would imagine. And there's this rich guy that's on uh, on death's door, and as soon as he passes, his nephew stands to inherit all of his money. So he actually hires the Fat Boys to come in and take care of him, thinking, well, these guys are pretty bad, so they ought to you know, finish him off pretty quick. But they, they soon realize what's going on, and they can save the day. So... It didn't hold up as well as it did when I used to watch when I saw it in the past, but it, it was still okay nonetheless. It was fun, fun to revisit and fun for the music. Um, really, almost another double combo pickup. I got Swamp Thing and Ta-da! Return of the Swamp Thing, which I didn't even know this was out there. I have the Blu-ray um, Scream Factory Special Edition Blu-ray of this. I didn't have it on DVD, but I saw this and this together. So once again, I figured it was fate. I'd pick it up. This one actually stars uh, uh, Adrian Barbeau as the female lead. That's a really good movie. On the other side of the coin is this really bad movie. Um, the female lead in this is, uh, what's her name, uh, Heather Locklear. And she is just horrible in this. And what's terrible about this is this is a Jim uh, uh, Wynorski, if I'm pronouncing that name right. And I'm pretty sure he did Chopping Mall too. And I love Chopping Mall, but man... This thing is bad. If uh, if you've seen it, leave me a, a, a comment below and let me know what you thought about it. Maybe I'm not being fair to it, but I thought it was really bad. Maybe it was just Heather Locklear's acting that was bad. Uh, Money Monster. I have not had a chance to pick this up yet, but um, I've heard good things about it. Not not so much of a drama guy. Um, you know, pretty much horror or comedy or whatever. But actually, this one looked like it, uh, it would be pretty good. So I'm anxious to check that out. We have a recent release. I think this came out last week. Carnage Park. And this one is so disappointing because the premise on it is really, really good. But the actor, I don't know, or the uh, director, I'm not sure what his his end game was, but it, it really was bad. Supposedly it's based on a true story. It starts out, a uh, bank, robber, bank robber fleeing down the road, and they've got this, this uh, woman from the bank that they've kidnapped. And they kind of get off the beaten path trying to get away from the police, and they roll up on this uh, this property that is kind of monitored by this psycho and so he's basically a hills have eye kind of character you know everybody gets in his property you know he kills and just kind of what you would imagine but it would be 
a lot better story than what this actually was just because of some of the film I mean sometimes the actual picture would turn upside down for no apparent reason there was a long long scene where the the female actress uh, was trying to get away from the killer and she's in a, in a mine trying to run away and that scene just took forever and it was dark and it was black and you could hear her breathing and running and screaming but you really couldn't see anything it was really really bad so Kudos for the premise. I think it really could have made a good movie, but the end product was not so good. So, can't recommend that one. Uh, classic, American Werewolf in London. I picked this up just basically for the uh, the new sleep, uh, slip cover and artwork. I mean, everybody's seen that. I've, I've got two other copies of this, but I thought I'd pick that up just for the new artwork. Um, Bloodfather, starring Mel Gibson. This proved to me that Mel Gibson should have actually been in the new... Uh, Mad Max Fury Road movie. He plays the badass just like he always did. I, I could definitely see him in the Tom Hardy role in the uh, the Fury Road movie. So uh, I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't happen. This movie is kind of predictable. You know, the estranged father-daughter relationship. The daughter comes back because she's in trouble. Dad's going to help her out. And, you know, gunfights and explosions ensue. It's a pretty predictable story. But uh, great acting on Mel Gibson's part. Uh, I, was, I was really glad to pick this up. I'd heard a lot about it prior to it coming out. It got a very limited release at theaters. So I was, I was glad to get this and check it out. Because I think Mel Gibson deserves a second chance. And uh, if this is any indication of what he's got coming down the road, I can't wait to see more. Especially Hacksaw Ridge that just started in theaters this week. That looks like it's really good. Um, this one I picked up. French Connection 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. It's a, uh, a UK import. This is a classic... Um, as you can see, it's a it's a three disc collection. It it also doesn't hold up very well. I think the I think the French Connection actually won an Oscar the year it came out, whatever year that was. But um, you know, by today's standard, it's it's pretty slow. But it, it's good to have it on Blu-ray nonetheless. I haven't had a chance to check out the French Connection too, and I don't believe I've ever seen it. So I'm still looking forward to checking that out. Then I have three movies that I picked up from Arrow UK. And I'll tell you, if, if you go on Arrow UK's uh, website and check out some of the titles, the, um, the sleeve, or the, the, the commissioned artwork on the, on the covers of these are fantastic. But you have to be very careful to make sure that you're buying your region, um, unless you have an all-region player, of course, and it doesn't matter. But um, here's three of them that I picked up. Um, Madman from Arrow. And you can see it's got the... Uh, it's like the PG rating down here, um, R rating, I guess. And uh, as usual, Arrow does it right. They have a little, comes with a little booklet in all their releases. Um, great artwork on the discs. And as always, the um, sleeve has the original artwork. So most of you probably remember that one more than anything else. This is actually a pretty good movie. It, uh, it's about a bunch of kids in a camp that uh, kind of, you know, run into this this axe murderer it's it's exactly what you what you expect from a slasher type movie but it's uh it, it, it does stand up the test of time so i really enjoyed this one um next up is maniac cop um, this stars bruce campbell and this is another uh, uk import uh from arrow it's got uh once again the booklet that comes with it cool artwork there and it has the reversible art cover that you probably remember from the old vhs's um, I really like that new commissioned artwork on the cover. This is a story about a cop that was actually uh, framed and murdered, and uh, somehow he comes back and just wreaks havoc trying to get revenge. But So that's Maniac Cop. They're from Arrow. And next up is The Exterminator. And this is really cool because I, I don't have anything else in this kind of a package. It's got like a window on it, and the DVD comes out of the window. So this is actually the Spanish cover. For the exterminator here on the back is the u.s the exterminator new commissioned artwork there inside here once again we have the booklet as always and then we have also the poster of the u.s release with the spanish the exterminator at the bottom so that was what was on the vhs back in the day and I said the booklet and the other covers wore um, it looks like maybe Japanese and of course the uh, you know the English version there 
but it's such a, a great job the Aero Video does, and, and these were, you know, reasonably cheap on their uh, uh, Aero UK website. Um, I think these were like 15 bucks a piece, something like that. I wish the U.S. would actually do releases like this, where, you know, if, if you can throw a booklet and some new commissioned artwork, kind of like the way Screen Factory does, but my God, Screen Factory is so expensive for some of their collector's editions. It, it kind of bothers me. But once again, this is The Exterminator on Blu-ray. It's about a guy that comes back from Vietnam with his buddy. And I can never remember his name. Uh, oh my gosh, that's horrible. His name is... Oh my God. He's the guy from American Ninja. He's his buddy. They came back, come back. Uh, you know, they're trying to fit in and, and work and, and do what's right. But, uh, of course, there's some gangs that kind of run the town, and things go bad, and uh, the, the one buddy, he gets put in the hospital. And so the hero of the, of the show, he comes in, and he's going to put an end to these gangs. It kind of turns into a Death Wish kind of thing, and he's going to clean up the town. The only bad thing about this, it does kind of hold up. It's a little bit slow. It does hold up for the most part, but the hero, he just doesn't fit the hero um, stereotype. He's just kind of an average guy that you really don't think he'd be able to beat any of these guys that he's going up against so that that kind of takes it away from me but all in all the story is really good and it definitely ends for the part two um, but that's uh, the exterminator on blu-ray then we have burial ground this was from uh, Severin films the new commissioned artwork on the slip cover and this is the I'm sure the cover that most people remember here this is a story about some people that are invited out to this this uh, this mansion, and they go out there and find out that there's zombies running around loose. It's it's not a very good movie, but it's worth watching, if only to watch this guy. He is the son of this woman in the movie, but you can look at him and tell he's probably a 28, 30 year old man. He must have some kind of you know uh, ailment or a disease that has made him so small. He's not a dwarf, he's a normal proportion person, but he's just little. And this guy just freaks me out. His eyes and the way he stares, and they definitely had to get a, a man to do this part because there was inappropriate relationships, uh, thoughts with him uh, for his mother, and just things like that that it just wouldn't fly for a, a real child to be doing something like that. But um, if you don't watch this movie for anything else, it does look, it does look gorgeous on Blu-ray, but... If nothing else, at least watch the trailer just so you can see this this guy that plays the kid. And also included in this was the uh, Barrow Ground Recommissioned Artwork poster. That's actually pretty cool. But look at that guy. Look at him. Just look at him. And that looks like him. I'm not lying. That looks like him. Check out the trailer. Um, next up, The Big White. This has Robin Williams, Holly Hunter, Giovanna uh, Ribisi, Woody Harrelson, um, I'd never heard of this movie. I picked it up cold, you know, snow, big white. I picked it up cold, never hearing anything about it, and enjoyed the hell out of this. This was so good. It's about a guy that runs a, um, a vacation, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you, know, you go and you, you book vacations through him, and so a travel agent. And so he uh, he's on hard times, and he doesn't know what he's going to do. He can't pay the bills at the office. He's trying to take care of his wife, and she has a tick, uh, you know, where she cusses a lot and things like that and that's played by Holly Hunter which is fantastic in this but he finds a body in the trash can these two bumbling hitmen threw this body in the trash can and so he decides to make a, a, a play for the insurance money saying that it was his long lost brother and so he does some stuff and has some animals eat the guy's face off and he claims it's his brother and then his brother actually does get wind of this and comes back to town you know trying to figure out what's going on he wants his cut of the money but this is an absolute great movie. I would recommend you check this out if you can uh, catch it someplace, um, either you know pay-per-view or, or look for the DVD. But it's an absolute hoot to watch. Everybody in this puts in a great performance. Giovanni Ribisi, he plays the insurance uh, agent that's trying to, he doesn't believe uh, Robin Williams' story at all, and he's trying to catch him in a lie. And it's just hilarious. It's, it's a great movie. Then I've got the uh, Scream Factory the Shout Factory Scream Factory edition of uh, Nightbreed. Uh, it's a limited director's cut. It's uh, it's it's beautiful new art artwork on the cover. Um, it's got the artwork on the discs and the original artwork 
I've got two other versions of this movie too, but I did not have the Screen Factory, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's a great, great movie. I'm sure everybody's seen it. Definitely one to have in your collection. Also picked up the Digibook uh, Taxi Driver. Um, I actually had this on DVD, so um, this is just a much better collection. I'll get rid of the DVD now since this was an upgrade. Normally I don't show my upgrades, but this one is just too nice not to show. Um, so it is a, a true digi book. It's got the great artwork inside. And it also comes with lobby cards, which I have not opened yet. So there's just a big, thick stack of lobby cards that come with it. Like I said, I haven't opened them, but uh, just a great throwback to a great movie. It's definitely a classic. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Go watch Taxi Driver. It's an awesome show. Um, then we have the Aero US release of Dead End Drive-In. This is an Australian movie of, uh, it's like a post-apocalyptic uh, kind of movie, and it's very strange. Um, this drive-in, it's, it's, you know, it's guarded, it's, it's got uh, electric fence and things, and so what they're doing is they're putting in people that aren't actually helping in society into this uh, drive-in, and that's it's like an internment camp, basically. And so there's a little city that's, you know, built up in there, and it's mostly kids, teenager type ages, you know, hoodlums that are living in there, and they've kind of made a city for themselves. And it's just about this one kid's uh, attempt to, to break out. And so... With this being Arrow, once again, comes with a great booklet, and this is like the, co the cover of the VHS Dead End Drive-In right there, if you remember that. Um, this also has another alternate artwork for War Dead End Drive-In, which I've never seen before, so I'm not sure where that was. I don't know if that was actually on a release or not, but I'd never seen that before until I picked this up. So that's Dead End Drive-In. Like I said, it, it's, it's an okay movie. It's not one that I would spend a lot of money for if I was you, but definitely check it out. Also got the uh, Shot Factory Screen Factory um, uh, Collector's Edition of The Thing. Um, this was an up upgrade, not really an upgrade, I've got the Blu-ray too, but um, uh, I had to get this just because of the Screen Factory special uh, uh, features. Absolutely great special features. It actually has the commentary by John Carpenter and Kurt Russell during the movie. And if nothing else, that's worth the price of admission on this. It's great to listen to the old stories and stuff of these guys just talking and watching the movie. And Russell said, you know, I haven't seen this movie in, in a long time. This is going to be a lot of fun. And it re was really interesting and entertaining to hear that. And there's also another special feature about the making of where they talk with all the other actors, not Kurt Russell in those. But um, you never actually see Kurt Russell. I, I would like to know how long ago that was actually recorded. But uh, special features, like I said, it's worth the price of admission. The thing, it's a classic. Everybody's seen it. Keanu with uh, Key and Peele. It's a story about uh, two guys, um, two buddies, or I guess the, they're cousins. And this guy has a breakup. He's, he's down in the dumps. He finds this cat, Keanu, and this cat has just, has just made his day. I mean, this cat is just everything he wants. So they, they go out, and they come home, and they have, somebody has ransacked his apartment and stolen his cat. So the movie then takes a terrible turn where these guys are trying to find out who took the cat and they wind up having to act like they're a couple of thug uh, killers from Allentown to get in with the local gang to try to find the cat. They find the cat, horrible things happen, people get killed, people are getting shot and their interaction, if you've ever seen Key Appeal on the Comedy Central show, you know they're funny. Um, this movie is really good. The uh, the, the trailer shows you pretty much everything that happens in the movie. If you like the trailer, you'll like the movie. Don't be expecting a whole lot more than that. I thought it was entertaining. I, I would definitely watch it again. It's definitely more than a one watch. Um, this was a an upgrade for me. Um, Days of Future Past. And I don't even know why I got it, other than I hadn't seen this kind of uh, packaging before. So you've got the standard DVD. But also in the package you get the Uncanny X-Men comic that comes with it. So I just thought, you know, why not? It was cheap. It was like 8 bucks. So I figured I'd get that. And it's beautiful. Beautiful packaging. So I picked it up. Um, Daybreakers was another uh, upgrade for me, which I don't normally talk about once again. But I have to tell you, I got this used at Disc Replay. And there was like four stickers on this. Four or five stickers on this. And if, if you'll ever notice, when I show my movies, I take all the stickers off. I use Goo Gone. 
I'm very meticulous about all my movies. There's there's nothing on this now. I mean, I clean them up so they look, you know, absolutely, you know, brand new. But this was a nightmare to get this thing cleaned up, and I was so proud of how good it turned out. I'm showing it off. <laughs> um, Disciples. I picked this up cold. I haven't watched it. I I thought, you know, it's got Tony Todd, Bill Mosley, Angus Scrimm, and Leanna Quigley. I'm like. How have I never heard of this movie? Then I got home and watched the trailer. That's how I never heard of this movie. It looks like a turd. So, I haven't watched it yet, needless to say. I don't know if I will watch it, to be honest. I, I might get hard up one night and watch it, but it, it absolutely looks horrendous. Um, speaking of horrendous, hey, look, everybody. It's bad taste. Um, I picked this up. This isn't in my collection currently. It's a DVD, and, of course, it's, it's a special... You know, it's got this little slip cover, and it's got the, you can see how he's like, the aliens telling all earthlings what he thinks of them there. So it's got the lenticular cover. You open it up, and it's, it's beautiful. You know, it's all intact, it's like a digi book. It's got a little pamphlet in here that talks about the, the movie. Um, it's got pictures of the cast. And this is actually, um... Peter Jackson's first film, and this is like limited to 50,000, and this is 19,170. I can't believe that they actually made 50,000 of these, because this is really bad. This was Peter Jackson, you know, he's famous for the Lord of the Ring movies and uh, the Hobbit movies. Um, it's very low budget. If, you, if you've never seen it before, I cannot recommend it. Only reason I would recommend it is to kind of look at Peter Jackson's techniques and things that he did in this movie and just see how much he has arced in his uh, career. And uh, it's kind of kind of funny that he has very few people in this movie. He actually plays like three or four characters. And the way he does that, he starts out, I don't know if you can see it, he starts out with a full beard and long hair. And as the movie progresses, the different characters he plays... Um, Beard's gone, this is the mustache, then his hair's cut with a mustache, and then no mustache, and his hair's even shorter. And it was the same thing for two or three other guys in the cast. Um, they were just friends and uh, people that did editing and stuff on the movie. They all played parts in the movie. It's basically about uh, aliens that come to Earth to harvest the Earthlings for their fast food franchise from whatever planet they was from. So, it's a pretty bad movie. I'm glad to have it in my collection just because of the the special case and everything, but normally not something I would buy. Um, I got three VHS pickups. I got Rodents. I got Soul Keeper with the lenticular cover. That's that's pretty cool. You see that? And a movie I didn't even know existed was Trilogy of Terror 2. I haven't had a chance to watch any of these yet. Um, I, this one's definitely one I want to check out. I'll have to check it out for sure. Um, but once again, it's an anthology. It looks like there's three or three or four different movies on this one. So if you've seen the Trilogy of Terror, the first one with this cat in it, you'll know that um, what you're signing up for when you watch this, I'm sure. So can't wait to check that out. That's all the movies I picked up. I ran through that kind of quick. We're still at 23 minutes. Hope you're still with me. Um, the only other honorable mentions I got here are some pictures that... Actually, my mom and dad found at an antique store. And so we got... Oh, that's just beautiful. Beautiful Clint Eastwood. And a Little Rascals. And I also have a Marx Brothers. But it's not in the room with me right now. But honorable mention, thank you, Mom and Pop, for that. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got. It's a huge stack. Um, Best Buy's got a great sale going this weekend, so I think there's like five titles I'm looking at getting tomorrow. So... Look for those on the next update. <coughs> Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would. It helps a lot. Tell your friends to subscribe. Like I say, it definitely helps. I appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook. Links down below. And uh, I guess until next month for the Weekend Grabs and Reviews, I'm out of here because that's all I got for you. We'll see you.